Reconciliation is not a destination. It is a journey all Australians are on together. The artworks along the pathway between the National Library and the High Court of Australia are responses to that shared journey. These artworks can be interpreted in several ways. This dialogue is just one way of telling the story. Judy Watson's work, Fire and Water, is comprised of rusted shapes suggesting burnt grass, an eerie central shape which could be a bogong moth, traditional food of the Ngunnawal people of the Canberra region, and plantings that flow down the slope to suggest water. However, taken as a whole, these elements speak to the basic needs all humans share – water, food, warmth, shelter and family. In Vic McGrath's work, Mathaluthari, his desire to introduce viewers to the traditional way of life in the Torres Strait Islands is evident in the bronze and concrete representation of their traditional canoe and the text on it regarding the cycle of the seasons. Their spiritual life is represented in the figure on the front sail made of mother of pearl stars. A hero, Tagai, is depicted in the sky standing in his canoe with his five barbed fishing spear extended. But this image is familiar to all Australians because it includes the Southern Cross. Perhaps the concept we are being asked to consider is that though our use of the land may differ as much as our stories, in the end we all share the same planet, the same sky.